Welcome to the final highlights package of the season for the England Hockey Women's Premier Division. I'm Simon Mason and here are all the goals. The top two in Pool A were Surbiton and Hampstead and Westminster and they met to decide who would top the pool. The visitors took the lead in the 8th minute through Holly Hunt. It didn't take long for the scores to be level once more as Hannah Martin scored for Surbiton in the 12th minute. Giselle Ansley put the home side ahead in the 23rd minute. Immediately after half time, the lead was doubled as Amy Costello scored from the penalty spot. Izzy Petter made it four in the 62nd minute to give Surbiton all three points. In the other Pool A game, the University of Nottingham went ahead early on against Clifton Robinsons thanks to Maddie Long. Darcy Shields equalised seven minutes later. After half time, the visitors took the lead through Emily Drysdale. But the home side came back to win it with goals from Maddie Long and Keir Murray. In Pool B, the top two sides met at East Grinstead. It was Reading who took the lead with the only goal of the first half through Phoebe Nixon. <gasps> and it's trickled in! But the home side came roaring back to win with goals from Grace Ballston and Sophie Bray. Goal! It's gone through the netting to Courtney. Phenomenal ball from Courtney. And Sophie Bray hits the top right! Bowden took on Wimbledon, and a win for either side would catapult them ahead of Reading and into second spot in the pool. It was the visitors who took all three points thanks to a goal in each half. Emily Reese with the first and Megan Croson with the second. With these being the final pool standings, we now know that the semi-finals will see Surbiton take on Wimbledon and East Grinstead will be up against Hampstead and Westminster. Please join us at Surbiton Hockey Club on the 13th and 14th of April for the exciting culmination of the league season to see who will be crowned champions. Follow the links on screen and below to book now. In the playoffs, the University of Birmingham needed a point to confirm their place in the Premier Division next year. But they went behind early on as Jessica Dyson scored for Loughborough students. The lead was doubled after half time with Amy Cradden scoring. Sarah Parkinson Mills pulled one back for Birmingham late on, but Loughborough held on for all three points. So that meant Beeston would need to make up a goal difference deficit of five at home to Isker and the University of Exeter in order to stay up. Footage of this one from BTV. Good position. Yes, nice in the centre. There's a bundle of players on the penalty spot. It's brought to the baseline, across the face of goal. It's up and, and it's, a goal. it's a goal, early goal. Beeston take the lead. A bit more certainty. Is that going to run out of play? No, no it doesn't. We've well. got a good view of that. And there's an acre of space for Isker is. to put the ball forward and the timing is there and it's been turned in for an equalising goal. One all. So they, they need now just 
five goals as the ball bounces. Oh, it's that's been in, gone and in. That's <laughs> somehow find its way into the goal. Good injection, trap. That goal. is the equaliser for Iska. Set and agree there on the first castle again. Everyone around the edge of the corner of the circle. Good injection that. Yes. It's, it's there. Short. Beeston retake the lead. That's uh, Lucy Millington on this nearest castle this time, so good injection, good trap. That's another stop, and this one has been somehow. Yes! It's there! It's, a goal. it's there! I know we're, we're neutral, but this could be the most dramatic end to a league season that's ever been broadcast. It's on the left-hand side. Grieve goes low. It's blocked again. And on the reverse, it yes. is in! There's a goal. Robinson with a goal! So Loughborough students and the University of Birmingham will play Premier Division hockey next year, with Beeston and Iskra and the University of Exeter confirmed as being relegated.